We're here on the historic Forest Park Boulevard in downtown Fort Wayne. Homes on this street were developed around the late 1800s to about 1955. As you drive up and down the boulevard, you'll see homes with a variety of different architectural styles. Well, stepping inside the vestibule, this would have been a place where you would have originally taken off your coat. You've maybe hung it on a rack before then entering into the formal foyer entry. Now, I notice immediately uh, just some details here in this space. First, I notice the staircase going upstairs. I notice the beautifully restored handrail, the carpet and leather and the brass detail going up the staircase, the trim and the plaster work in the space, as well as the refinished hardwood floors. We're standing in the formal living room of this home. Immediately you'll notice several of the features or benefits of having a colonial style home. You've got windows on each side of the room allow for ample lighting. You have a beautifully restored floor to ceiling fireplace. You have plastered ceilings with extra detail up there, beautiful chandelier, and then furnishings which really add to the elegance of this space. Well, the elegance of the formal dining room matches the elegance of the formal living room. You notice extensive trim detail throughout the room. You have custom plaster moldings on the ceiling, beautiful chandelier and sconce lighting on either wall, and floor to ceiling, wall to wall curtains. We've stepped now into the family room of this home. Uh, we were told that originally when the house was built in 1912, this was a smaller room and a back porch. And then in the 1930s, they renovated the home and they turned this into a library. The kitchen of this home is absolutely incredible and blends the traditional detail with modern amenities. You have custom cabinetry all throughout. You've got a beautiful custom copper sink. You've got beautiful custom pull-out details that allow for additional prep space. You've got hidden dishwasher. You've got a beautiful Italian range that matches the antique original McRae refrigerator beautifully. Well, a dry basement in a home of this era is a rarity. This house happens to have a fully dry basement. And so the current owner decided to turn this into a second finished living space. You notice there's a TV area, there's a table for playing games, but then there's also a kitchen net for crafting or for light refreshments. Well, upstairs we find an elegant master bedroom suite with original historical details still intact. The original moldings in place, the picture rail, the original sconce lighting, as well as an original lighting here in the center of the room as a focal point. Louvered shutters, beautiful plaster work, and the original restored hardwood floors. There's one bathroom here on the second floor of this home, which in 1915, to have a bathroom like this would have been quite the impressive feature. Making our way now into the bathroom, we find original details still intact. Tile flooring, tile on the walls, original concrete bathtub, built-ins as well as a medicine cabinet and a laundry chute straight down to the basement. It's impressive to walk into a space like this over a hundred years after it was built and still find so many original details still intact. We're now in the fourth bedroom of the home on the back of the house accessible by the rear stairway. This bedroom would have originally been for the housekeeper of the home. The second bedroom is a beautiful, elegant guest suite with trim molding like we've seen throughout the rest of the house period correct lighting, and beautiful furnishings. The third bedroom has the same features as the other spaces. It's currently used as an office, but also has access out to the second floor rooftop balcony. We're standing out on the second floor rooftop balcony overlooking the beautiful backyard. You notice we have original thick columns, original railing, home painted up as you would have seen um, in 1912. It was a great place to sit out and relax in the afternoon or in the evening. 
Every aspect of this home is impressive, as you've seen. And the garage certainly doesn't disappoint. Original moldings, original brick features, copper gutters. This would have been the deluxe garage back in 1915. The outdoor living space offers a relaxing environment to unwind at the end of a long day. We've got a beautiful gazebo here that was added in roughly the 1980s, but ties in wonderfully with the architecture of the home, along with an in-ground pool and ample patio space to entertain family or friends. Well, thank you for joining us for a tour of this beautiful English colonial home. What was your favorite feature? Be sure to leave a comment in the comments section below. And be sure to also click the subscribe button so that you receive a notification the next time we post a video.